Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make a design online using a tool called Kittle. Kittle is a free online design tool to make complex designs easily, and it works right in your browser. Kittle is preloaded with thousands of world-class designs, premium fonts, shapes, graphic elements, illustrations, one-click effect features, and so much more. It is perfect for any creative project, from logos to posters to t-shirt designs, which makes it an ideal tool for print-on-demand. You can start any creative project with no previous design experience and will have professional and fantastic results. And they also have a free plan where you can try it without limits to its main features. You will find a link in the description to sign up for free. Now, let us start making our first t-shirt design using Kittle. After you sign up for your free account, go to Kittle home screen and click on the new project button. This will take you to your design board. On the left side, you will find a menu where you can search for your design resources. The designs tab, for example, enables you to use any template on Kittle and edit it. You can choose between the logo's templates, t-shirts, posters, and so on. The text tab enables you to choose between ready-made text elements and edit them or add your text from scratch. You can also add your graphic files to your artboard or use any images from the stock library provided by Kittle. The elements tab is where you are going to use the most. This is where you will search for graphic elements that are provided with Kittle. So, let's start by searching for a racing car for our design. I am looking for a classic car to fit my design concept. I will choose this one. Once you click on any element, it will be placed directly on your design board. You can adjust the size of any graphic by dragging any of its corners. Now, let's add some text using the text tab. On the right side, you will find the text settings, where you can find all the features related to the text. Let's start by changing the font. I will change the text effects by pressing the effects sign at the top. I choose one of the shading options. You can play with the shadow settings until you find something you like. You can change its offset, its color, and even its angle. I will add my headline text and change the font again. Now I will search for a triangle element for my background. On the right bottom corner, you will find the layers panel. On this panel, you can move the position of any element on your board. For example, I will drag the triangle beneath the car graphic file by moving it to the bottom of the order. Now, let's change the colors of the triangle. Now, I will use a basic shape to hide part of the triangle beneath the hot rod text. I think I will change the color of the drop shadow of the text. Yes, I like it like that. Now let's add more text to our design. You can change the text angle and slope using the transformation section on the right side. 
I will use the distort option to change the text angle. Once pressed, you can click and drag any white circles to stretch it as you like. Let's add shading to the text and change its angle. I will continue to add text to my design. You can also change the letter spacing of any word from your right menu. Now, I want to create a shadow under the car. I will do that using a simple circle shape. I will play with it to create this shadow effect under the car. You can also change the opacity of any element from the right menu. I will add some stars to the design through the elements tab on the left. Also, using the same elements tab, you can find some abstract shapes. I will add some shapes for my design using the abstract section. Many useful elements under the abstract section can be used for t-shirt designs. Now I will use one of the ready text templates to add additional text to my design. If you select any text templates, ungroup them by clicking on them with the right mouse click and choose to ungroup from the menu. Then, delete all the parts that you don't need. Now you can change the text by double-clicking on it. I will use a basic shape to hide parts of the triangle beneath the text. Eventually, I decided to change the text font and angle again. Using the Elements tab, I will add some line shapes to the bottom of the design. You can duplicate any element on your board by holding the Alt key while selecting your object and moving it in any direction. 
I then decided to add some effects to the original parts text. I used the decoration section, which can be found under the effects tab on the right menu. I then decided to do some more tweaks to the primary text shadow and colors. After that, and from the left menu, you can add texture to your design from the texture tab located at the bottom of the left menu. You can also change the opacity of the texture of the blending mode from the right menu until you find something you like. Once satisfied with your final design, you can click on the settings icon at the top and change the dimensions if you want. I will change the dimensions to 4500 by 5400, which is the default dimensions for merch by Amazon. You can adjust your design according to the new dimensions. However, if you have applied any text effects, you will have to redo them. This is because text effects are not vector files anymore. So, I will have to redo the original parts text again. Once finished, you can press on the download icon on the top menu and download your design in any of the formats that you want. I will leave a link in the description to this template. You can edit it and use it for your designs. I will be creating more and M more Kittle tutorial videos on my channel, so stay tuned and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.